Hello my friends, Dr. Ken Berry here, family physician with over 22 years of clinical experience. Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know to reduce your risk of having a heart attack, definitely, but also most likely a stroke as well. So we hear so much conflicting information on social media, if you read magazines, if you still watch TV, I mean, who still watches TV? But you get all these conflicting messages, and when you go see your doctor, invariably, all they want to talk about with regards to reducing your risk of having a heart attack is your LDL cholesterol, or maybe your ApoB, or maybe your total cholesterol if your doctor's 10 years behind on the reading. I wanted to show you a graph. Now, this uh, is shown in a British medical journal, Open Heart. Uh, back from 2021, written by Professor Noakes. And it's got a graph in it that just makes this so crystal clear and so plain that anybody, regardless of their IQ or education level, can understand this. So I'm going to put this graph up on the screen, and I'm going to walk you through what you see in this. So here's the chart. Now, this gives you the hazard ratios for development of coronary heart disease. So a hazard ratio means how likely is this to cause what we're talking about? How, how big of a risk is this? So you can use the different lengths of the bars on this bar graph and it will tell you this is the most important thing. This is the next important thing. So if you look at the top part of this, the red bars, the biggest thing that's going to give you the biggest risk is type 2 diabetes. And also you can include in this un, uh, uncontrolled type 1 diabetes, but the vast majority of people with diabetes have type 2 diabetes. It has a hazard ratio of 10.71. That's huge. This is almost as big as the hazard ratios from the smoking will cause you lung cancer um, research studies from a decade or two ago, a hazard ratio of 10.7 is huge, okay? So if you currently have type 2 diabetes, that is far and away your biggest risk factor for having a heart attack, regardless of the fact that all your doctor wants to talk about is your LDL cholesterol and wants to get you on a statin. We'll get to that in a minute. Your biggest risk is having type 2 diabetes diabetes. The second biggest risk, also a very big risk, is having metabolic syndrome. So this is a syndrome of having high triglycerides, high blood pressure, a, uh, a large waist circumference, and a couple of other things. Metabolic syndrome, number two biggest risk factor of all. Now, the further down at the bottom of this chart, the blue bars are biochemical markers. These are lab results that, that we can say, yes, that has a hazard ratio that we can calculate. So number one, type two diabetes. If you've got that, that's where you need to focus all of your effort, all of your money, all of your willpower. You need to do whatever reverses your type two diabetes back to normal. Now I've got hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel uh, you can watch my keto videos or my carnivore videos. Both of them are going to reverse your type 2 diabetes back to normal and erase the biggest risk factor for coronary heart disease, which is what leads to ultimately having an acute myocardial infarction, aka a heart attack. Also, keto and carnivore reverse metabolic syndrome back to normal. So literally, by changing your diet and eating what I call a proper human diet, you're going to erase the two biggest risk factors for having a heart attack. Now, uh, number three uh, on risk factors is hypertension. That's high blood pressure. Guess what is going to lower your blood pressure back either to normal or to near normal? a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet. We have seen this in hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, many people come to either keto or carnivore on one, two, or even three blood pressure medications and their blood pressure is still high. That's hypertension. 
that is increasing their risk of having a heart attack. It's, it, is a, it has a known hazard ratio. When you adopt a real whole food ketogenic diet, not full of keto treats and cookies and cakes and pies, but real whole food keto, or a carnivore diet, you're gonna lower your blood pressure. And the more you lower it back towards normal, the lower this hazard ratio is gonna be. Number four on the list in the red bars is obesity. Now I think everybody on planet Earth now knows that both a ketogenic way of eating and a carnivore way of eating is going to help you lose fat, lose weight. It's going to help you reverse your obesity. Definitely help you reverse severe obesity. And in many cases, reverse your overweight back to normal. You're gonna move back towards the normal body weight and body fat percentage. So one, two, three, four, the top four risk factors for having a heart attack, a ketogenic diet, or a carnivore diet completely reverse those risks back to normal and erase these hazard ratios. Now look what's number five, smoking. Now we all know how bad smoking is. Smoking is very bad for you. If you smoke, please stop smoking. But when you compare smoking to type two diabetes, type two diabetes is orders of magnitude, or at least orders of multiplication, more dangerous than smoking for your risk of having a heart attack. Metabolic syndrome is more dangerous than smoking. Hypertension, more dangerous than smoking. Obesity, more dangerous than smoking. And then finally, we're all told that, that everything's genetics, right? Uh, your family history of premature coronary heart disease, that's genetics. Uh, look at that, it's a hazard ratio of 1.5. When you compare that to the type 2 diabetes hazard ratio of 10.71, your family history suddenly becomes much less important because you can't do anything about your family history. You got your genes, you can't really affect them, but you can reverse your type 2 diabetes and your metabolic syndrome and your hypertension and your obesity. And if you're smoking, you're going to stop smoking because that's dumb. Now let's look down at the blue bars, the biochemical markers. These are lab tests that you would get ordered. The most dangerous is lipoprotein insulin resistance. This is another way of talking about hyperinsulinemia. I've got multiple videos on my YouTube channel about what can you do about hyperinsulinemia. You can eat a very, very low carbohydrate diet, aka a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet. Next on the list, with a hazard ratio of 2.14, high triglycerides. Guess what? Completely re returns your triglyceride marker to normal. A ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet. So the top three, the top two, you can completely get them back to normal by eating what I call a proper human diet. Number three, apolipoprotein. Now we we touched on that earlier. I'll have more videos to come on my channel as we go. But look at apolipoprotein with a hazard ratio of 1.89. It has a known hazard ratio, but compare that to the hazard ratio in the red bars of type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome or hypertension or obesity or smoking. It's a very small hazard ratio. What about non-HDL cholesterol, 1.67? Let's compare that to type two diabetes. Should your doctor even, be, and then, then finally, finally we make it all the way down to elevated LDL cholesterol with a hazard ratio of 1.38, which is approaching background noise. Compare high LDLs hazard ratio of 1.38 to type two diabetes has a ratio of 10.71. Type two diabetes is 10 times more dangerous than having high LDL cholesterol. Now you understand why I get so furious when that's all doctors want to talk about is, oh, your LDL's high, we've got to get you on this medication and completely ignore your high blood sugar, your high insulin levels, your, your moderately high blood pressure. They ignore all that. All they care about is getting you on that statin or on Repatha or Pryuin. It's inappropriate. It's bad medical practice, and it's not truly protecting you from having a heart attack. 
if your doc, if you so currently, if you're a type two diabetic and your doctor's got you on two or three different medicines, but your hemoglobin A1C is still 6.5, 6.7, 7.0, and your doctor says, well, that's pretty good. They are ignoring a hazard ratio of 10.71, and then all then they are got to get you on the Crestor. They're focusing on a hazard ratio of 1.38. Does that make any sense to you? And then finally. The lowest hazard ratio on this list is inflammatory biomarkers like HSCRP. Many, many doctors and, and health influencers out on the internet wanna talk about your levels of inflammation, and it does matter. But let's put it in context. You've got a high HSCRP, okay. How does that compare to having type two diabetes or metabolic syndrome or hypertension or obesity? It's a tiny risk factor compared to those risk factors. So what I recommend you do is focus on the biggest bars on this graph. If you've got type two diabetes, you don't need to be thinking about anything else in the world with regards to improving your health than doing whatever it takes to reverse the type two diabetes so that you go back to having a normal hemoglobin A1C. Once you've fixed your type two diabetes, then you'll pick the next biggest bar, which is insulin resistance, hyperinsulinemia, if you look at the blue bars, or metabolic syndrome, if you're looking at the red bars. The same thing is gonna fix both, which is a very, very low carbohydrate diet. You're gonna remove these as risk factors in your personal equation when you reverse these numbers back to normal. So stop worrying about your LDL cholesterol if you've got metabolic syndrome or type two diabetes or hypertension or obesity, or you smoke. It's, it's a minor risk factor, okay? I hope this chart really helps you understand you only have so much time and motivation and money and willpower and stamina and self-control. Focus all that you've got on reversing the biggest hazard ratios on this chart. And you're gonna do that by adopting a proper human diet, a diet that's very low in carbohydrates, whether that's a ketogenic diet, a ketovore diet, or a carnivore diet. Now, I hope this video helps, and as always, you're welcome to leave your stories in the comments. If you've already reversed type two diabetes by eating a proper human diet, tell me your story in the comments. People love to read those because that's the, that's the real life experience of a real human who's just like them. And also, if you're in a family or a friend circle who does not support you at all in trying to reverse your type two diabetes, or your metabolic syndrome or hypertension, considering becoming a member of our community for less than a buck a day, you'll, you'll have thousands of people who are on the same journey you're on to reverse your poor metabolic health back to good, vibrant health. Hope this video helps. Feel free to share this if you think it'll help other people. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.